Hello, are we ready to go? Got another one for you. <coughs> Try to clear me, clear me throat. So I'm keeping my toes moving because obviously you're just in your warm up, whatever you've done, whether it be one of our videos, whether it be uh, one of your own sort of walking around the garden, doing your own toe taps. Um, today we've got, uh, we're going to do sort of a quick paced session today. Um, so where I did my lower body session where we did squats in between everything, this time we're going to do marches or maybe jogs in between all the exercises. It's two rounds, ten exercises per round with the march or squat in between each exercise. Okay, so we'll make it quite fast paced. These are all ones that you keep moving with. So there's no squats, no heel raises, no hip abductions. There's no real standing still. Uh, use one arm, two arms, no arms, use weights. Um, we're going to try and do it as quick as we can. It's, first round will be 30 seconds per exercise and the second round will be a minute per exercise. So we're really going to finish on a high. Okay, so I'll get my uh, stopwatch going in a minute. So the first one is going to be toe taps with arms coming up and you want a nice fast pace. Go as fast as you feel you can, comfortably can. Okay, so I'm going to start my stopwatch, you carry on with that. And away we go. Okay, so just 30 seconds, nice quick blast. I decided to wear a Heartbeat t-shirt today. Uh, you can't normally see the logo on our usual work polo shirts. So I'm going loud and proud today. Okay, so look at that, 30 seconds. Is nearly finished. Just three, two, one, and then into a march. So we're going to march after every exercise. Hopefully, we don't start off too fast and then tire towards the end. Hopefully, we've got a nice good rhythm to keep going. Should be about a 30 minute session this one. Okay, so next one is side taps. So again, we're gonna use the arms out to the side. So away we go. Just all basic exercises. You don't need any equipment unless you've got your hand weights. Obviously going to heartbeat is better for you anyway. Okay, so last five seconds of the side taps, and then we're back into your march. Okay, so three, two, and one, and then we're back. So this one's designed to really get your heart rate going. Um, all the other sort of sessions have been for all over the body, lower body, and other circuit training ones that like Kieran and Elaine, etc. have been doing, Steve. They've been sort of all over the body. This one I'm trying to make it as fast as possible for you. Okay, so we're going to go into our back taps. Okay, so here we go, you ready? So tap behind, arms forward. <clears throat> I'll have to think of a name for this one. Ready for our uh, YouTube channel. Okay, last 10 seconds. And then we're marching again. So, away we go. We're only two and a half minutes in. How are we feeling? Okay, so the next one in 10 seconds will be a heel dig. We all like a heel dig, so bicep curls with it, with a single arm or double arm. Okay, away we go, so heel digs. Keep that pace nice and high. So you want it faster than your warm up, otherwise you're just warming up over again. Okay, so 10 more seconds, and then we're marching again, getting that heart rate up. Okay, away we go. So swing the arms, make 
those movements nice and big. Okay, so the next exercise in about 10 seconds will be our knee lift. So we can have a pull down, we can reach across the top of the thigh. But I'm going to do the pull down because it's a bigger movement, which means higher heart rate. Okay, away we go. So the alternative is just to reach across. But we'll, for the sake of this video, I'll join you on the harder option. Okay, so I'll last five seconds for this one. And then it's back into our march again. Okay, are we ready? March in there. It's a bit lighter this t-shirt actually. Not as heavy as a polo shirt, so uh, hopefully I won't get as warm. Okay, so what have we got next? So our bum kicks. The old Markham and Wives. So again, we'll do the two options for this one. We'll do the Markham and Wives or the row. I'll start with a walk wise, away we go. Kick your bum, arm coming up. Or you can do a row as you kick. I'll stick to this one now that I'm on it. Next round I'll do the walk and wise. My wife's no longer working home, she's back in work, so you won't hear the phone ringing anymore. Okay, so we'll go back to your march. Lift your knees. Swing your arms. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is that whole speed skating sidestep type exercise. I'll start it off, and you can always just follow on. Once you've worked it out, so we're ready. So you're gonna step and you're gonna sort of bend into it. So a little squat and tap behind your other foot. A nice big movement again, so 10 seconds. Okay, it's the last five. And then we're marching again, so away we go. Get those hips nice and loose for this one. Okay, so the next exercise will be our front kicks. So it's gonna be a little sort of jog on the spot. Kick your leg out in front, with a little jog, and then kick with the other leg. Uh, so again, I'll do it first, and then if you wanna pop you when you're ready, so it's just a, just bring the leg as high as you feel comfortable. It depends how warmed up your hamstrings are feeling. Try and reach towards the knee or the shin. If you are feeling brave, reach towards the toe. Okay, back to your march. Okay, we're nearly at the end of this round, just uh, another couple to do. And then uh, I'll give you a couple of minutes, well, a couple of seconds for a drink. The next one is the box step. I would use a step, um, but I don't have one. And I'm not sure everyone at home will do either. So it's that nice wide, feet coming wide, back to the middle. Uh, and then we'll just alternate the legs on that one. So 15 of each. Okay, away we go, left foot first. Nice big movements. Good, good. Five seconds and then we're swapping legs. Okay, and then right leg forward. How's your coordination? How was your change then? If you're still, still scratching your head trying to work out how to change, give it some practice. And we'll march. 
Okay, the last one we're going to do is we're going to lift our feet up in front just to open up the hip a little bit. Doesn't matter how high you get your foot, uh, just a little bit more of an angle than a knee lift, so we'll see how we get on. I do use it in my warm ups, um, so a lot of you will be familiar with it. Okay, so here we go, so we'll start any leg and just tap the heel in front. So just open out the hip. And again, make the arms nice big movements. Okay, so last five seconds. And it's our last march of the round. Okay, so this will be your 10 minutes, so first round. So the next one, we're going to double it up to a minute per exercise. Uh, we'll probably do a fast march slash slow jog for the second 30 seconds of the march. Uh, so we're ready. I'll just grab yourselves a quick drink if you want one. If not, keep your feet moving. I'm just going to pause it just while we have a quick breather. So if you're moving your feet, you're having a drink, you're unscrewed. And right, okay, you probably are right there. Shake it off. And you're going to start with your toe taps, arms up to shoulder height. So away you go. So it's a minute of these now. So try and keep them fast, but obviously pace yourself so you can get through the next 20 minutes. 20 minutes from here. Look at that. We're getting fit in lockdown. If you're wearing one of your uh, watches that counts all your steps, I'm not decided if we're counting these steps towards our 100k in May. Um, I guess it counts. It all adds up to your miles, I suppose. A lot of you are really doing well on it at the moment, so it's 200k in May for a lot of you. Okay, so last five, and then it's marching for 30 seconds. So away we go. So the next 30, we'll go a little bit quicker. Uh, like I said, we are trying to just keep that heart rate nice and high for this one. If I had a monitor, it'd be interesting to see what mine would be at the moment. Okay, so 10 seconds as we are, and it's going to be a nice, fast march into a jog if you want to jog. Okay, three, two, one, and we'll do a little jog. Just pick your knees up as much as you feel you can. So both feet coming off the floor counts as a jog. Okay, so just 15 to go, it's not too bad. And the next exercise is your side taps. So again, arms coming up to shoulder height. Okay, last five, four, three, two, and out to the side, okay. Feels quite slow after a jog, doesn't it? mention if you haven't already subscribed to our channel I think there's a subscribe button I've always seen youtubers do this so you ready click subscribe I think it's down there somewhere <laughs> I'll be on uh, every celebrity TV show going now I'm a youtuber and by all means please tell your family and friends this isn't just for heartbeat we are happy for anybody to use our videos. Uh, obviously, we want to get everyone fit, gets our name out a little bit more. Um, so yeah, by all means, if you know anyone who's struggling to exercise, send them towards our channel. Send them the link. Okay, we're back to our march. So lift those knees. And obviously, not just the same with the exercise videos. Rebecca's uh, stress series has helped a lot of people. 
Um, so yes, by all means, if you know somebody's struggling a little bit, send them the way of those videos too. I know a few of you have shared them around already, so they're very good. Okay, 30 seconds in, so it's time to march. Okay, the next exercise will be a back tap. So tap behind, arms come forward again, up to shoulder height. So last 10. And then last five, four, three, two, and tapping back. Do you like Stephen's hat? All right, in it. I'll turn the face. Okay, so I'll come up to halfway on these back taps. Make your movements bigger if you're starting to feel like you can do a bit more. We're halfway through our session. 15 minutes give or take okay so just last set and then we're back to our march and jog feel free if you want to jog for the full minute as long as your heart rate's not too high uh, you can do okay so march in there maybe I'll start a march and do 45 seconds of a jog or start the march and finish with a jog, um, but I'll give you 15 second intervals just in case you do want to do 45 and 15. So there's your 15 seconds. We're going to do another 15 and then we'll jog. You might want to do 45 seconds of marching followed by 15 seconds of jogging. Okay, so that's 30 now, so we're going to go into our, my jog. If you're still marching or jogging, keep it going. Okay, so 15 seconds left. If you started jogging, well done, keep it going. If you're still jogging, well done to you as well. So the next exercise are heel digs. Okay, so into the heel digs. So and we go. So again, just nice big movements. Get the full extension and the full curl on your arms. Halfway. And I am quite tired actually. It's a good one this one. <laughs> I hope you're feeling it too. Um, I would say feel free to comment and then give me more work to do. <laughs> last last ten seconds. So again with this march, if you want to do a march all the way through, we'll start marching now. If you want to jog, you can jog. I'll leave these uh, these ones up to you in the middles. Again, I'll give you a 15 second intervals just in case you are doing it that way. Okay, so there's your first 15. Keep it going, it's good. Thirty seconds. So I'm jogging. If you follow me, come on, let's get those knees up just a little bit. Get a bit of a bounce to it. So fifteen, last fifteen. So if you're not jogging by now, give it a little try. Or we can wait till we're sort of two-thirds of the way through. So now we're into our knee lift, so we're pulling down. So again, big movements. A 
minute of anything is quite hard work. So if you do need to slow down, by all means, it's on time, not on reps. So as long as you're doing a minute of moving per exercise, I don't care if you do 100 reps or 10 reps. Okay, so 15 seconds to go. So you're doing well. Okay, so we're going to go back to our march. How are we doing? We're good. Wipe your brow if you need to. I'm a bit. I didn't bring my towel in. I don't think I was going to punish myself this much. So if you're doing these most days, hopefully, you won't lose too much fitness in the time we've been away. Okay, so I, did, I forgot to give you the 15 seconds in, but we are now on halfway, so we'll start jogging if you are. So try and kick your heels up a little bit, so you are trying to replicate a jog. Okay, so 15 seconds left to go. And then we are two thirds of the way through, just 10 minutes le left to go. Okay, so the next one is your bum kicks, which is the more compromise, so I'll do the more compromise because I did the row of the first one. So kick your bum, arms right up. If you want to do that one, you can do. But I'm going to do this. I might swap if I get tired. Okay, so that's halfway through this one. So if you do want to swap to your row, you can do. If you want to carry on, letting these arms come up. Last 15. Okay, so five, four, three, two, and into your march again. Okay, so I will remember to give you your 15 minute interval, uh, 15 second intervals, I should say. We're not doing this for 15 minutes. Woo. Okay, so there's fifth, first 15. You are jogging by now. Good on you, 45 seconds is a long time. Doing the full minute, credit where credit's due. Okay, so that's half, so I'm gonna start my jog. Some of you might still be marching. That's fine. Just try and do the last sort of 15 to 10 seconds as a jog. If your knees and hips allow, 15 seconds left. And it's into our uh, speed skating. So it's the side taps, I'll make a start, away we go. So, nice big side steps. Squat into it, tap behind your foot. Now a minute of this is quite a long time. So I'll say it again, if you feel like you need to just take it a little bit easy, please do. Keep an eye on your heart rate monitors if you are wearing one. Okay, so 20 seconds, come on. Okay, last 10. And we're marching and jogging again. Five, four, three, two, and one march. Okay, so there's only three more exercises left to do. We're nearly there. Come on. Okay. 
So I've got to give you the 15 again. We are now halfway, so I'm going to start the joke. Last 15 seconds, come on. Get the knees up, just a little bit more. Okay, last five, four, three, and it's our front kick, so it's that little bit of a jog and kick. So three steps, kick. One, two, three, kick. Kick, one, two, three, kick. So your hamstring should be nice and loose this time around. So you should be aiming for your legs to be a little bit higher, a little bit straighter, but not too straight. We don't want to have any pulled hamstrings. Okay, so just 20 seconds to go. How many more kicks can you get in? So really push yourself, speed up those into those changes. As long as your kick is a little bit controlled. Last five seconds. Okay, so try and squeeze a few more in. Last one, and march. Got an itchy nose today. You don't realise how much you touch your face until they told us we always touch our face. Okay, there's 15 seconds for you. Two more exercises to go. Okay, so I'm approaching 30 seconds, so I'm going to start my jock. So remember, pick your feet up. I'm sure some of you are putting more effort in than I am, which uh, I'll, I'll happily take that. Okay, there's your last 15 seconds, so keep going. And then it's our box step, so a nice wide step back to the middle. We're going to do 30 seconds per leg. I'll start left leg. Are we ready? Okay, away we go. So nice and fast, nice and wide. I'll give you enough notice when we're changing our lead leg. I know some people get a bit confused swapping the legs over. So nice and wide. So it's just 10 more seconds. So think about it, how are you going to go with your right leg first? Now I'll change over. Okay, last one, and then we're changing. Right leg now. Good. Could have swapped it where we go one leg, then the other alternates in the whole way. Fifteen seconds. We are nearly at the end. Okay, so we're going to be marching there. So three minutes left. I did two now. Three minutes left, which means a lot of marching. One more exercise, and then marching to finish, and we are done. So if you've not managed your jogs yet, I think for the last round we will probably do 45 seconds jogging. If you're not done it yet. Try and do at least 30 seconds, maybe 15 seconds. So there's my cue to go for this march. So if you're finding this 30 seconds quite easy, let's increase it for the next one. If you're still struggling a bit, that's fine, leave it at 15 seconds or 30 seconds if you're sort of finding that manageable. Last 15, come on. And the last one is feet in front, so we're going to pick those feet up. Nice big arm movement. Away we go, okay, so lift those feet, big arm movements. I feel like I'm gritting my teeth a lot.
Okay, so we've got 30 seconds left for this. How many more can we squeeze in? Should we pick the pace up a little bit? Ah, come on. Oh, wow, that makes a difference. <laughs> Last 15 seconds, come on, who's pushing? Who's pushing to the end? Okay, so remember, we're gonna do 15, march, 45, jog. Are we ready? So, march in there. This is the last minute of the session. So I wanna see your knees nice and high if you are still marching. If you're jogging, pick your heels up. Okay, five, four, Three, two, and we're going to go for 45 seconds now. At the end of the 45, go into a nice march. Lift your knees up. Well, I'll just say goodbye, I guess. Okay, 30 seconds, come on. So thank you for joining me on this video again. They're always a pleasure to do. The feedback's always nice. Uh, I know a lot of you enjoying them. As I said before, please click that subscribe button, is it there? Somewhere along the bottom. And tell your friends, tell your family, if they're struggling to stay active during lockdown. Okay, last five seconds, come on. Okay, so we're just going to a march. Just while you settle down, wipe my eyes. So find yourself a cool down, do your own cool down. Hopefully you enjoyed today's session. I think it's been quite a good one. Uh, I'm tired, I'm ready for my lunch. Uh, so yes, I'll see you again soon. Um, I'll keep coming up with some more ideas for you. Alright, thank you.